What is 0 raised to the power of 0? Let's see what is 0 raised to other powers. 0 raised to the third power is 0, 0 raised to the second power is 0, 0 raised to the first power is also 0. Following the positive exponents, it seems like 0 raised to the power of 0 should also equal 0. But 0 to the negative second power is undefined. The same is true for 0 to the negative first power. Following the negative exponents, it seems like 0 to the power of 0 should be undefined. Other numbers raised to 0 equal 1. This pattern implies that 0 raised to 0 should be 1. It looks that there is no obvious value of 0 raised to 0, which is true. Depending on the context we are working in one answer may be better than the others. In algebra, combinatorics, or set theory the generally agreed upon value is 0 raised to 0 equals 1. Let's have a look at the binomial theorem. For x equals 0, this simplifies to 1 equals 0 raised to the power of 0 times 1. Therefore, for the binomial theorem to be valid for x equals 0, 0 raised to the power of 0 should be 1. We can view a raised to the power of b as the number of tuples containing b elements that can be chosen from a set of a elements. For example, we can view 3 raised to the power of 2 as the number of tuples containing two elements that can be chosen from a set of three elements. Similarly, 3 raised to the power of 0 is the number of tuples containing zero elements that can be chosen from a set of three elements, which equals 1. 0 raised to the power of 0 is the number of tuples containing zero elements that can be chosen from a set of zero elements, which is also 1. 1 is the only definition consistent with this interpretation of exponentiation. In differential calculus, the power rule is not valid for n equals 1 at x equals 0, unless we define 0 raised to the power of 0 to be 1. However, as discussed earlier, depending on the context one may not always be the best answer. For example, let's look at some limits. Limit of a function at a point A is the value that a function approaches as the input approaches A. We are interested in the limits of the form 0 raised to 0 when x equals 0. The limit of x raised to x as x approaches 0 from the right is 1. This implies if we want x raised to x to be right continuous at 0, we should define 0 raised to the power of 0 to be 1. The limit of x raised to 0 as x approaches 0 is 1. This again suggests that 0 raised to 0 is 1, but there are other limits of the same form with different values. The limit of 0 raised to x as x approaches 0 from the right is 0. The limit of 0 raised to x as x approaches 0 from the left is undefined. The limit of x raised to 1 over natural log x as x approaches 0 from the right is e. So, the value of the limits of the form 0 raised to the power of 0 may differ with the functions we are dealing with. Therefore, when dealing with limits, 0 raised to 0 is an indeterminate form or undefined. So, what is 0 raised to the power of 0? Depending on the context where it occurs, we might wish to substitute it with 1, indeterminate, or undefined. Often, 1 is the useful choice. This convention allows us to extend definitions in different areas of mathematics that would otherwise require treating 0 as a special case. However, when dealing with limits, indeterminate form or undefined is the more obvious choice. 